The Hayastan Al-Armenian Fund is implementing two projects in Baranis, a village in Armenia's Tavush region. The first of the projects, sponsored by the French Armenian community, is the construction of a new irrigation pipeline, which will make it possible to irrigate up to 25 hectares of land. The fund has been working in Baranis for the past two years in order to implement two vitally important agricultural projects. One of them is the establishment of these greenhouses. The other, and equally urgent initiative, is the expansion of the irrigation network by a length of 2.4 kilometers. Both projects are expected to be completed in the near future. Baranis has 262 households. Its main occupations are animal breeding, vegetable farming, and grape growing. Most of the community's arable lands are in the border zone, making it almost impossible to cultivate them. Baranis resident Varsika Boyan says that given the extreme danger of working in areas close to the border, the establishment of greenhouses represents an ideal economic solution. As our fields are located so close to the border, we're not able to work in them. By contrast, the greenhouses are convenient and safe, beyond the reach of enemy snipers. By providing employment and a good income, the greenhouses will allow us to continue living and working in these border regions, in our birthplace. To date, the Hayastan Al-Armenian Fund has built four greenhouses in Baranis, with donations from Jorge Moroyan and Carlos Potikian of Argentina. Now, four families are able to make a living as vegetable farmers. When the project was launched, my wife suggested we apply for a greenhouse. We were approved. We decided to grow vegetables. It's been great. We're very happy. It's engaging and even fun work. It's good to cultivate the land when you know that you'll reap the benefits, that your work is yielding good results. It's very gratifying. It's already profitable. Without any experience in greenhouse cultivation, we went ahead and grew vegetables, and we're happy with the income. As Baranis resident Garnik Bayramyan says, the variety of crops will continue to grow as the Hayastan Al-Armenian Fund will soon provide farmers with seedlings of pepper, tomato, cucumber and beans. Thanks to the project, we will receive tomato, pepper and bean seedlings. They'll be delivered this Saturday. By then, we'll have finished harvesting the current crop and then we'll plant the new vegetables. The family of another Baranis resident, Nairi Sahakyan, was absolutely thrilled when the fund provided it with a greenhouse. Now the family is looking forward to its first harvest. Within approximately two months, we'll harvest the crops and make a good profit by selling them in the market. All eight members of our family will go on working in the greenhouse. If you work hard, you will reap the benefits. We're all invested in this work and we'll see the results in May or June. The creation of greenhouses in border communities is extremely important because it boosts local economies. The residents of Baranis have great faith and confidence in the highest on all Armenian fund, and not just for the irrigation and greenhouse projects. Today, there's a rather absurd misconception that Armenians live well all around the world except in Armenia. Well, the overarching goal of the highest on all Armenian fund is precisely to implement projects that enable Armenians to live well in Armenia as well. Given this objective, the work of the fund is absolutely invaluable, because this organization has a huge role in the growth of the Armenian economy. It has an instrumental role, and without a doubt, all of the sectors in which the fund has invested are yielding wonderful results, as they benefit the ongoing development and prosperity of our homeland.